こんにちは。Welcome to Miwa's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my miso butter pan fried salmon, which you can whip up in only 15 minutes. If you are a Japanese food lover, you might have tried making miso soup. If you still have a leftover of miso paste and don't know what to do with it, this video is for you. Butter and miso are meant to be together. The combination is great because the two ingredients combined create a savory, comforting, and filling dish. Without further ado, let's dive in! For seasoning, we need a 3 tablespoon of yellow miso paste. I don't recommend using red miso since the flavor is too strong for fish. By the way, I made a video about Japanese condiments guide. If you want to know more about miso, mirin, among other things, please go and watch it. I put the link in the box down below. 2 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of sugar and 1 tablespoon of butter Prepare 2 slices of salmon fillet In any regular Japanese supermarket, we usually have a salted salmon and unsalted salmon in the same section I'm using unsalted salmon, so please make sure that you get the right one. If the label said shiojake, it means salted, which we don't want to use today. Next half of a cabbage, two potato, one onion, quarter portion of shimeji mushroom. For potato, you want to use one that will hold its shape even after you simmer it for long. Now let's peel the skin of potato. You can keep the skin if it's organic, make sure to wrap the skin nicely and cut into big bite-sized pieces. Leave them in cold water to remove the starch and microwave them 600 watt for 2-5 to five minutes depending on how many potato you are cooking with. I'm doing half the portion of my original recipe, so 2 minutes was long enough for small size of one potato. If you are using two potatoes, five minutes should be perfect. This will help all the ingredients to be cooked evenly in the pan and also faster to cook. And cut the onion into wedges and trim off the stem of the shimeji mushroom. We can save those for later to shred by hand. Also roughly chop the cabbage. Flat side down makes cutting stable. Try not to make it too small. Also in a bowl, place the sugar, soy sauce, mirin, and a miso paste. You want to dissolve the miso paste completely before you add it to a pan, otherwise you will have a chunk in a pan. I recommend using back of a spoon to break the miso paste, but I think it's better to use a small whisk. I'm just too lazy to wash more things, so... And we are looking for this saucy consistency. Heat the oil in a pan. I'm using rice grain oil which I could only get at supermarket. All other kind of oil was gone or ridiculously expensive during this quarantine. You can just use any oil in hand. And how is the situation in your country right now? Place the salmon and season with the salt and pepper on one side. Make sure to position it with the skin side down. I strongly recommend to wipe off excess water before you place it on the pan, which I completely forgot to do this time. The oil is literally splashing on me all over now. When one side is slightly browned, 
Flip the salmon and season with the salt and pepper again on another side. Then place microwaved potato and onion next to salmon. Try to fill up all space on the pan. In a way, potato and onion can absorb all the good flavor from the salmon as they are cooked. Another mistake I made was I forgot to leave the potato in the water so you can see potatoes stick together because of the starch. I'm more op optimistic person who I think like it's okay if it's tasty when you eat it, but it would be nicer if you don't skip the soaking water process. And cook it for 2 minutes and then pile mushroom by shredding them. And cabbage on top. It looks like a lot of vegetables, but it will magically wilt down when you steam it. Just make sure to use a big pan to fit everything in. And drizzle the miso mixture over. Make sure to scrape off all the yummy sauce. And put the lid on. Steam it for 10 minutes with small heat. And after steaming away, open the lid. Can you see how much water came out from the vegetable? The sweetness of vegetable and umami flavor from salmon all melt down in one pot. It's even better by adding butter as a finishing touch. The butter will melt eventually. Oh, smells so good. Now time to transfer everything onto a plate. I'd like to show you how I do my plating. First, make a bed of vegetables. I do use my chopstick a lot to work on details. Do you use chopstick for cooking? So I chose dark brown plate to enjoy the color contrast with salmon and vegetables. Then place the tenderized salmon nicely on top. Add butter when it's still hot. I still want to inject more color, but this is totally optional. Garnish some spring onion. And freshly crushed black pepper. And finally, drizzle some sauce over the salmon. I serve with rice usually, but I think it's good with bread also. And also, I use spring vegetable for today, but you can use carrot, broccoli, eggplant, anything in season will work for this recipe. Throw whatever vegetable is left lying in your fridge. Curious how you cook with miso paste so if you have any idea just come down to the comment below and for the next video I'm thinking do my meal prep so don't forget to subscribe and give the thumbs up and I'll hope to see you on the next video bye matane thank you